an academy let's crack it hi everyone let's talk about something that's often missed the treatment of lip cancers and i am dr vaishnavi your ent educator on the an academy platform lip cancers which are less than 1/3 in the size of the length of the lip are usually treated by resection and suturing primarily or interstitial radiotherapy can be given but if the lesion is between 1/3 to 2/3 of the length of the lip then the incision site around the lesion is marked superiorly or inferiorly opposite to the lie site of lesion the corresponding flap that has to be reposed is marked this is usually a pedicled flap so you take the superior labial artery as the uh, main source supply so that this is a vascularized flap the tissue is rotated inferiorly the point from where you have taken the flap is sutured primarily and the defect where you have removed the cancer is also sutured primarily with the help of the flap that has been repositioned from superior to inferior then the pedicle is cut off after 10 to 14 days if the length of the cancer is more than 1/3 to 2/3 of the length of the entire lip then you can't do an abyss flap like we saw before you will be doing a gilles flan flap reconstruction this is not an rotational flap but this is an advancement flap since the defect that will be caused is much bigger in size the tissue from the cheeks and buccal mucosa are advanced forwards and then sutured to cover the defect so this is an advancement flap and not like a abyss flap which is a rotational flap to learn more such interesting things in ent and miss topics in ent please log on to my classes on an academy take care and bye bye